What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the figure I have been getting a lot of DMs about. It is the Dragon Ball GT Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Let's go ahead and dive right into it starting off with that sexy packaging. Now for the box, it's standard. It's the same thing we've been getting for years at this point. You've got the window with the figure. Some of the accessories are visible. It does say Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta right there. Funny, it used to say Vegeta on the package. Uh, I guess they're going with the American names now. Anyway, it does say Tamashii Nation's quality right there. You got the Toei sticker at the bottom, Dragon Ball GT. Tamashii Nation's Bandai, ages 15 and up. We've got some images of Vegeta or the figure itself along the sides right here, also on the bottom, and then uh, on the back as well. We've got some poses we can get the figure into, as well as a bunch of legal stuff that I am unable to read because I imported this figure. Now, I had a ton of trouble getting my hands on this because USPS was being a prick after it converted to them from EMS. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Let's go ahead and bust this figure out because I'm just as excited as you guys are for this one. Now, first things first, before I even dive into this figure, I have to give a huge shout out to my brother, 86 Reviews. Guys, if you don't know who 86 Reviews is, he is the best Dragon Ball reviewer period, period, when it comes to the SH Figure Arts line or anything that is Dragon Ball. And seriously, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be bringing you guys this review because I wouldn't have this figure. He has come through for me more times than I can count on two hands already. So 86, bro, if you're watching this, I really want you to know that I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Now on to the figure. You guys, I'm going to tell you straight up, if you like Goku, you're going to love Vegeta because this thing right here is a monster of a figure and it just once again showcases what Tamashi Nations can do once they put their minds to it because this thing is just an absolutely beautiful sculpt, man. This thing is amazing. And let's not waste any time and take a closer look at it so I can show you guys some of those fine details. Now, up close and personal, I gotta say, man, this thing looks so damn good, man. This is, this is it, bro. This is it, man. And I watched Dragon Ball GT, right? I didn't even care for Dragon Ball GT, but the Super Saiyan 4 forms were just so sick to me. And this Vegeta captures everything that the Goku did. This hair sculpt is so nice. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera. It's probably not, but his his hair is actually, it's not a black color. It's brown as it's supposed to be. And putting him side by side with Goku, I'm sure you guys can see it. It looks like a bit more of a uh, chocolate color than Goku's just black hair and it just looks good man they got the sculpt of the ears correct uh, I don't know what it is but in Dragon Ball like GT they had some really like sharp ears but um there it is man the hair that is added to the back that is hinged on there which works very well with the articulation that this is just so good and then also these pieces are articulated and it's just like Goku man but it's not the same sculpt once again pulling out Goku Goku is a little bit more bulky than Vegeta but this Vegeta is much more bulky than any other Vegeta we've gotten man this dude looks jacked I'm not sure if you guys can see it but my boy got the thunder thighs for real like this dude is just like beefy man for lack of better words my guy is swole as hell i really love what they did with the pants there is a ton of shading throughout them you have this like it's almost like a grayish navy blue with some darker navy blue up here it looks really good though it looks so so good um and this one like up here this piece right here all throughout this area is a little bit darker, but the shading really starts once you get to the thighs, the knees, and then the lower legs, ankles, and things like that. These boots, 
new sculpt look really good. I'm not sure if the gloves are, but I'm pretty sure they probably are. Uh, but this thing just looks great, man. This is grandioso. This is Tamashi Nations at peak performance in a peak figure. The face sculpt, I don't know how I skipped that, but just look at it, man. That is menacing, angry. I have ascended Vegeta, and I love this. I love this so much. Also, one other thing I want to throw in before I forget is I really like this hair sculpt even without the Super Saiyan 4 to it. Like, I like the look of this hair sculpt by itself. Hopefully, we get a Vegeta. I don't care if it's Super Saiyan or base with just this upper hair sculpt right here. This looks so damn good, man. I love the line work and everything in it. I think it would look better as Super Saiyan. But if we were to get it out of base form, I would not complain. Just wanted to throw that out there. Now, for the size of this guy to the top of his forehead, as you guys can see, he's right at about five inches. To the top of his hair, though, he is a little bit over six inches, as he's supposed to be because Vegeta does have tall hair. Now, from what I've heard, this is the smallest Vegeta that we've been given, and... That means it is an entirely new sculpt, and I'm happy about that because Vegeta is supposed to be short, and some of the other Vegeta figures we've gotten have been a tad bit too big, so I'm completely okay with this. Now, moving on to the articulation, our boy looks up. Not a whole lot, but definitely well enough. And with the way that you can adjust these hair pieces, it just makes it that much better. Because like I said, the back is on a hinge, but when you're moving the head, you do have to watch out for the face plates wanting to pop off. So be careful of that. Uh, he looks down until the chin touches the chest. And I mean, you can't really get more than that. So I am completely fine with it. Uh, he does get really good tilt, turn, all that good stuff. Vegeta can be very, very expressive. Once again, these are on hinges. You can kind of turn them out a little bit, but I don't recommend messing with these too much. I am still traumatized after the hinge piece on my Yamcha figure broke. So I don't want that again. But yeah, they are articulated. Uh, as far as the arms go, they are on a butterfly joint and you can bring them in very far. Final flash poses, galley gun, yada, yada, yada. You won't have any problems with. They do go up and out about that much. So that is really dang good, man. He does have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that come in about that much. My boy can pose, yo. My boy can pose. Hands are on a ball peg so they can move around almost freely. He does have a diaphragm joint that works very well. You can lean with it, rock with it, back, but you will get some gappage and you can go forward. He does have a waist swivel, thankfully. Some figures have been lacking on the waist swivel lately. I don't know why, but this one can turn <laughs> until it pops off. I wasn't expecting that. That's been happening a lot in my reviews lately. But you can get him to turn pretty much far as you want to. Um, but be careful because this piece only has a certain diameter. So if you turn it too much, that's what's going to force it to pop. Now, as far as the legs go, look how high my boy can kick, man. Look how high he can kick. Vegeta can kick you in the face. The splits, that is good. That is just, man, that is so good. That is great. He does have a uh, bicep swivel as he is supposed to. Double jointed knees work well enough. Um, actually, I think that's great. That's perfect in my opinion. The foot does go down about that much, up about that much. Really good ankle rocker. Really, really good, especially for a Vegeta figure. And then he does have a toe hinge as well. A little bit on the loose side, but um, I don't feel like it's going to break or anything. So articulation wise, man, you can't really beat it, yo. This, this is perfect. This is everything that it needs to be. When it comes to the accessories on this guy, once again, they did not short us whatsoever because he comes with four different face plates. He gets a angry Vegeta, a smirking, cocky Vegeta, the teeth gritted Vegeta. I really love that expression. It's probably my favorite because I love the line work beside the mouth. It just shows that Dragon Ball grittiness, that angriness, and it has that 
accurate look to the anime. Then, of course, you do get the yelling, powering up, Gallic Gun, Final Flash, Final Shine Vegeta. Then he also comes with a ton of hands. You get two pair of fist hands. You do get the, um, I think this is called Atomic Blast, if I remember correctly. It's the technique he used on Majin Buu. I don't even think he used it in Super Saiyan 4. But the fact that they threw these in here and that they're new hands, it's a brand new sculpt, that just makes it even better. Then he gets two hands with a peg in them for holding his final shine accessory. He gets two reaching blasting hands that don't have a peg. You get another pair of blasting hands. Either of these can be used for like final flash. Then you get a pair of big bang flat hands. You get his tail and then you do get this really dope final shine accessory. So... They went all in. What more could you really ask for? Now, this isn't a nitpick, but it would have been cool if they would have threw in like one of the looking to the side faces. I think they stopped doing that completely, but just like a looking to the side face for when he's doing the uh, atomic blast, that would have been cool. But I'm not complaining about the fact that we don't have it. Four face plates is great, but that fifth one, would it would have topped it off. I'm not going to lie, but still, this is good. Now moving on to size comparisons, here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the SH Figure Arts Krillin, which is the 2.0, and of course the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Jiren. Now I wanted to throw in two different size figures for Krillin and Jiren, just so you guys can pretty much gauge how Vegeta scales with a bigger and a smaller figure and he is of course closer to Krillin's size than from what we get with most Vegeta figures. Now I also wanted you guys to see him side by side with Goku so that hopefully you can see the difference between the two different colors of fur that they have. Goku's is almost more on the pink side uh, if you look at it and Vegeta is more of a kind of like a saturated red um, I'm not sure how well that's picking up on camera, but Vegeta's fur is almost the same color as Jiren's outfit. So if you have the Jiren figure and you don't have this Vegeta, that kind of gives you an idea of what to expect once you open him up. Now next up here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super CGI Goku and the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super CGI Vegeta. As you guys can tell, he's a tad bit shorter than the CGI Vegeta, once again showing that this is a new sculpt. Now as far as the Piccolo goes, this is the 2.0 version that we got, but the head sculpt is from the CGI version, hence the smirk. That's why you guys can see that. Now, if you do have both versions of the Piccolo, I will say that these CGI heads do look really good on this body. Uh, the skin tone is almost completely identical. So if you didn't like the head sculpts that came with this version, you can swap them. Next up here he is standing next to a Figma Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness Yuji Itadori. We have him standing next to the SH Figure Arts Spy Family Greatness Lloyd Forger. Er, Forger, I don't know what I tried to say. But we also have him standing next to the Mafex Amazing Spider-Man uh, Symbiote or Black Suit, whichever you want to call him. And all four of these are dope figures. I'm just letting you guys know. Last but not least for some extras, here he is standing next to the Bandai America Stranger Things Vecna or Big Vec as I call him. We also have him standing next to the Figma Kimetsu no Yaiba Demon Slayer Akaza which I strongly dislike but I still like, I don't know. And then we have him standing next to the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows 2-Pack Spider-Man. Now, before I get to my final thoughts on this guy, I just want to share one thing and hopefully one of you guys can help me. It is a problem I have with this figure and it's something that does happen with SHFs. Not often, but it does happen. The problem I'm having is the wrist peg split, man. I hate this so much, man. This happens, this has happened to me a few times. Like I said, it's not common. You guys more than likely won't experience it. It seems to be very, very seldom, but anytime I switch out the hands, that wrist peg is wanting to come off and I'm so afraid I'm gonna break it. So if you guys know a hack for this, please holler at your boy because it's literally the only problem I have with this figure. Now, when it comes to Dragon Ball figures, going into extreme detail about my final thoughts is starting to become pointless because these things have just been so good, man. Every release, 
is just such a joy. Granted, there are some Goku figures that drop that are kind of like eh, but usually what those are are just placeholders or filler figures if that's what you want to call them. I'm gonna I'm gonna coin that filler figures. Uh, yeah, basically figures to fund other figures. That's what a lot of Goku figures are. Uh, prime example. CGI Goku right here still a solid figure to me. I love it, but um, yeah filler figures are the only ones that are just kind of Maybe you can skip on it, but everything else Tomashi nations is just killing it. Yo uh, There's really nothing for me to say I'm sure you guys already figured out how I felt probably within the first three four minutes of this video So there's no point in me explaining that now that being said I want more GT figures. Well, I say that. There's only like a couple that I want. Omega Shinron, that's one, uh, I don't know, just because it would be crazy to sculpt. But if they did it, I would be all for it. He's definitely going to be $100 plus if they make him. But for the time being, I do want Baby Vegeta. I do want Super 17. Obviously, we have to have my boy, Oob. I want Oob. And then, of course, the goat himself, Gogeta. Now, if they give us Oob, though, I want to double back to that. It's got to be Maj Oob. I don't want that, like, weak, eh, I'm Oob. I'm trying to be strong, Oob. No, I want my boy Maj Oob, who came in and was ready to serve baby Vegeta those hands, yo. So, yeah, Dragon Ball GT, there are a couple of figures they can make. Uh, there's a lot I wouldn't care too much about. But this right here, this is it. This is one that, if you can find it, get your hands on it now don't ask me where you can find it because i literally don't know this isn't one i was able to get my hands on by myself so just stay on the lookout it is a regular release so hopefully after all the hype has calmed down after it's been distributed to the united states or the west coast maybe you'll be able to find this guy for if not retail something close to it but if you see a good deal on it something that you're at least willing to pay go ahead and do it you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to get your hands on this guy i'm sure he'll get a re-release but who knows how long it'll be goku super saiyan 4 goku just got a re-release this year and i mean he came out last year so that's not that long of a wait but these are figures you don't want to wait on, man, especially if you see other people enjoying them. They just look so good together, and you will enjoy having it in your hand. But at this point, I'm being a dead horse. Hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And lastly, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are, and uh, bye. Let's get Goku out of the way. This ain't his review. Peace.